In this example, we've been given a CAD model with some incorrect geometry around a part, leaving us with oversized surfaces around these areas here. However, I'm still going to use existing tools in PowerMill to create a toolpath which will machine these oversized surfaces. First thing I need to do is to create and orientate a suitable work plane. I'm going to choose a three point arc work plane by clicking on three points on the top surface. If I double click on the work plane, it will open up the work plane editor and I can just drag it down to the corner region here. I can accept those changes and go about creating my toolpath. The first thing I need to do is to create a pattern to machine around. So if I create a pattern and then go into the curve editor, I'm going to choose to create an arc through three points along the top surface. So if I just click these three points like so and accept, I'm just going to open up the arc editor. As you can see, the radius value that we've been given is incorrect. We know it to be 10 millimeters, so I'm just going to enter that manually. I'm also going to click the make a full arc button. This will give us a full circle. I can accept those and then open up my 2D curve profile strategy. Here, all I have to do is select our pattern, create a suitable tool, in this case, 10 millimeter diameter end mill. I'm going to make sure that our work plane that we created is active. And finally, I want to set the limit to allow the tool center outside of the block. I can then go ahead and calculate the tool path. In this instance, when I've given the project down to the tool room, I've been told that the only tool available has a slightly different diameter to the one used in my toolpath strategy. In order to get around this, I'm going to apply some cutter compensation to the toolpath. So if I open up our toolpath again, I'm going to refresh it so I can make some changes, and then this time I'm going to add CNC cutter compensation. All I have to do now is hit calculate. PowerMill is going to tell us that we need to apply suitable leads. So I'm just going to set up some very simple horizontal arc lead ins and leads out. So if you just enter an angle of 90 and a radius of 1 millimeter should be fine. I'll just copy those over to the lead outs and then calculate. To see our compensated toolpath on my toolpath toolbar, I'm going to choose the option Draw Compensated Toolpath. If I just turn off the tool, take a view from Z, you can see the new toolpath is output in this position along the pattern. The real difference between compensated and uncompensated toolpaths can be seen in the NC code we generate. So I'm just going to open up some NC code that shows the command G41. This will allow the machinist to determine the correct offset from the surface to be cut. The code on the right does not have this. This is an uncompensated NC program. 